Hello, my beach bound beauties. I, um, I envy you all of those who are going to Mexico. It seems like, I guess this is the time of the year that people do that. People who are not me go to Mexico. Um, and they go on cruises and really fun places like that. Um, but you know, I mean, I get to go to the chicken coop and to the horse barn. So yeah, I'm probably never going to get to go to Mexico as long as I have horses, nor will my children ever eat a steak because we have to feed them. Hi, Honor. Hey, Amanda. I am excited for your, your girl trip and I cannot I really genuinely couldn't be more excited than if it was me going with y'all. I want to see pictures of y'all on the beach and I'm super excited to help you guys out with a beachy look. So spring break is still a little ways down the road, but it's coming up and there are so many of you traveling right now that I thought this would be a great time to um, do an outdoor in the sun. You're going to get hot, you're going to get sweaty, and you're going to get wet. So... I thought about spraying my face with a water bottle a la Taryn Armstrong. If you're watching, Taryn, you were hilarious one night she was trying to prove how waterproof our mascara is. And she just like sprayed her face with a water bottle while she was live. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Shoot. That was my light that just turned off. Hang on. Hey, babe, can you come in here and give me a hand? What's that? I need an extension cord. Don't go anywhere. I'm not turning this off and restarting because it totally confuses people. So I'm going to plug in my light in just a sec. And speaking of lights, while I wait for a light... Do you see this little beauty right up here? Do you know what this is not? It's not a boob light. Um, can you plug that in and plug in a... For today's lucky winner, we have a GE cord. That's right, a three-prong outlet with 12-feet cord for all your electrical needs. Please accept my sincerest apologies. Okay, and then... This needs to be, oh, I got one of those over there. There is a light on the Ricky light. That, I mean, like a little indicator that your battery is going low. I just never look at it. Is that charging? Uh, it is. Ba-bam! Can you turn them off your light now? This service has been brought to you by WeSpeed. <sighs> Serving wife for the last 47 years. <laughs> oh my God, what happened? It just turned off. Okay, hopefully this will not continue to be a problem. No more boob light. Get oh my God, seriously. It's still not on. It's no worky. Can you turn the light on so people can see me? I'm here. There. Whoa. There we go. Is it? Does it just have to charge before it'll actually turn on? Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, I'm glad you find this funny, Honor. Thank you, Dixie. Yeah, it's really funny. My life is sort of hinging here, and I am completely unprepared. All right, let's try it again. It's on, but stay... Stay by because it may turn off again. And then I need you to go get my light out of the back of my truck. I can't stand by and go get your light out of the back of the truck. Stand by until I tell you to get the light. Hi, Brenda. Yeah, we should do tutorials together. That's a great, great idea. Yeah, he's still standing by. Standing by. Okay, beach, beach. Okay, first thing you need on the beach. Um is a better body than mine. But after that, you need Bamboo Renew and Liquid Sunshine and Cream of the Crop. I don't have it um, in front of me here. Okay, but I, 
right, so I talk a lot about the makeup. I talk a little bit about the skincare. Um, but to be perfectly honest, these are... <laughs> Sorry, Honor. Um, these are the products that actually um, sold me on Limelight. So the Bamboo Renew, I'm going to show it to you because it is not what you expect. It is like crushed up walnut shells, I think. Something weird like that. Uh, lemongrass. It smells heavenly. Um, and if you mix it with your cleanser, it's also a great scrub for your face. You just have to be really careful. It's not intended for the face. And if you scrub too hard, you can break little capillaries um, and get little... Just don't do it. Um, okay, this is Liquid Sunshine. If I was worth a crap, I would have put some on. Um, but... So this is going to exfoliate your whole body in the shower. Then you put on the cream of the crop, which is like this, the richest, most, um, like to put this lotion on is a workout. It's an arm workout because you have to rub it in so hard because it has so much shea butter in it. Um, so it's pretty much cured my dry skin. Um, and then after you're all exfoliated and you're nice and moisturized, then you go in with a tiny bit of this. If you're super pale, I would mix this with a little bit more of the cream of crop and then rub it all over your body. It is not glittery, it is just, I don't know. There used to be a product made by Bath & Body Works um, when I was working as a makeup artist in Dallas that was the most perfect, like it just gave your body like the most perfect sheen and instant color it's not just sheen it's it's color too um and anyway they discontinued it of course because that always happens um and this is the first thing that i've seen that even comes close to that so um it is kind of sheer it's um luminescent it has good color you can kind of water it down uh oh i feel like my light is going to go out again it's starting to dim and it also um what was i saying i don't know anyway it's great stuff you should buy it okay so what i'm gonna do is mix foundation with our one drop wonder which i brought out here there it is. Okay. So this is the Palmafera oil that y'all um, have heard me talking about. Um, it has a natural UV protectant in it. It is not SPF, but it's um, still going to protect your sun from the harmful rays. And it comp it's all completely natural. It and when I say it all, it's only one ingredient. There's only one thing in here, and that is the um, oil from the cold-pressed seeds of the big green bumpy balls on the side of the road. I think y'all have heard me talk about that like a billion and one times. If you want more information, I can send you an article. I can tell you all about it. I can send you before and after pictures. Or you can just trust me and know that it's definitely our bestseller. Um, so I'm going to use a big fat brush. This is our number one or two brush. It's the all over face brush. And I am going to put some of this on my face and fairly generously. I'm going to use more than one drop. If you're going to be out in the sun all day on the beach, you really want to have a nice coating of this stuff, not just a skinny little, little bit. Okay. Um, then right after that, dip into your foundation. If you are following my prescription for what you should have, you would have Shinto 2 and Ivory. Because you're going to be sort of diluting this with the One Drop Wonder, I'm going to use straight Shinto 2. And I'm using a very small amount. Let me show you how much pressure I'm applying. Hey, Ryan. Gosh, dang it, dude. It was so awesome to see you at Andy's party. So just dab, dab. Okay. I'm going to go over here. We're just going to make little circles. Dab, dab. 
you definitely want some skin showing through. We're not going for glam. Hi, Heather. Hi, Michelle. It's been a long time, Michelle. Like three hours. <clears throat> okay. So, we've just got this tiny little bit of coverage. Doesn't even look like coverage. Basically, we've just blended it into... You can still see plenty of redness there because... My kids made me angry, I turned red, and now I'm drinking wine. So, um, but you might turn red on the beach, so it's a really good indicator of what you might look like. And then <clears throat> I'm going to use the number two concealer instead of the number zero that I normally use. Stay away from number one. It's not the right color for any of you. All right. And I'm going to clean up right underneath my eyes. I'm not going to worry. Too, I'm going to get down here onto the pink spots. But we're going for a really natural beachy look. So we're not trying to like carve out the face. Um, but this is going to take away all of that pink under your eyes. So if you're waking up and you know you're going to be outside and at the beach. The most impactful thing that you can do to make your eyes really stand out. Is to clean up all the pink, gray, and red um, that's underneath your eyes. Even if you don't notice any makeup on it, um, it's at the very least going to take out all the little pink spaces in between your bottom lashes, and that's going to make a huge difference to, to the way that other people see you. Um, their, their eyes are no longer trying to figure out where to land because there's so much color going on. So when this is really clean, your eye color does all the talking. Okay. So, we are going to not, we are not going to set that with setting powder. We're going to set it with the number six blush, which is our shimmer kind of sheen. Also a very safe sheen. This is not stroby crazy. Okay, so this brush, you could use any brush really, whatever. Dab, dab, and I'm going to go right underneath my eyes with a very small amount of this product. Okay, we're setting that concealer on the bridge of the nose, the top of the forehead, chin, and you can see that little bit of sheen that we have going on there. Now, our bronzer is a great option. For those of you who already have a little bit of sun, I think you could get away with this. But our bronzer does have a little bit of a sheen to it also. And so it can be a little much. If you're, if you're pretty pale and you're going to be on a cruise, Laura Terry Johnson, if you're watching. I'm not saying you're pale, but you're white as milk. Um, then you may want to use... Um, a color like um, Benefits Hula that has no shimmer. It's a totally matte color. Um, just so you don't look a little too pop out. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to keep your face nice and bronzy so that it kind of matches your body um, and looks tan, is wear a hat all day. Then you can go with the bronzer and a little bit more shimmer and it's not going to be bouncing light right off of you everywhere if you are wearing a hat even a baseball cap so it's another way you can get away with being beachy bronzy so I think this is what you were telling me about um, the other day Amanda when you said you wanted to look all beachy glowy bronzy of course we're not done yet um, but that's kind of a face now we're protected from the Sun and we've got a little bit of color we can put a little bit of blush on but since we've got two shimmer colors I'm going to stick with just a neutral um, blush and I think what I'm actually gonna do is use my lip color as my blush it's gonna look really creamy instead of powdery And so it's going to look super, super natural. I 
And if you feel like that's a little much, you can always just take your brush that you used with foundation and just kind of go over another quick little bit. This stuff layers so beautifully. And if that freaks you out, you know, I'm like, another layer of makeup and another layer of makeup. Are you kidding me? You're going to do another layer of makeup? It's because you haven't experienced pro makeup. Um, it's not like what you've been using. Even if you're using Bobbi Brown, even if you're using MAC or whatever you think is the best stuff out there that you're using, it's completely different than this um, and it layers totally differently. So it really just kind of gets better. You see how much more natural that color in my cheeks looks now? All right, brows. We don't need 12 step brows for the beach. I know y'all are disappointed and you wanted to see me go through all that craziness again. It's not gonna happen, I'm not doing it. And I'm even gonna pick a lighter shade. This might be a little too orangey for me. We'll see. Just wanna fill in your natural hairs, push them up as you go through. I mean, you can go nuts with your brows on the beach, um, but if you're swimming too hard and they fall off, you, that could be a problem. And by swimming too hard, I mean like, you know, falling off a surfboard, scuba diving, pulling a mask on and off your face. Kim Cochran, I don't know if you're watching this, but I, remember that you were my adventure buddy when we went to Mexico and we did that cave snorkeling. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. And also incredibly terrifying. Um, cause like to get, you know, from one part of the cave to the other, you had to swim underwater. Like, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe you can hold your breath. Maybe you'll die. Who knows? Um, it was exhilarating. I highly recommend it. Okay. Brows. Now, I am going to set them with a brow gel. Limelight does not make a brow gel. And if you had a hair gel that you trust not to get crusty, um, then you could just take a little brow brush or an old mascara wand and just put that on there. It's just going to kind of help set them, set the color. It sort of coats the hair so that they're no longer susceptible to just being kind of tossed about by the wind and sweat and as you're wiping your eye it's just gonna kind of lock everything in okay so let's talk about eyes we don't need full eye makeup at the beach but sometimes we want awesome eye makeup at the beach right hi Erin hi Susan Susan are you going somewhere fun soon you guys and your family y'all always go somewhere really fun hey Charlotte Okay, so our mascara is as waterproof as it needs to be. I've swam in a river. I have, that's pretty much it. I've swum in a pool and I've swum in a river. Um, I have not been water skiing or snorkeling, but I can pretty much guarantee you um, that this is not going anywhere. It's not going to flake. It's not going to run. Um, anytime you have makeup on and you're doing something with water, it's best if you can just sort of pat your face to take the water off your face instead of rubbing it. Um, but you don't even have to be all that careful. This is not going anywhere. Okay, so we're going to use some mascara. I'm also going to, our, our uh, liquid eyeliner pen, it's on back order right now, but... Here's the thing about back order, y'all. You still have to buy it now because if you wait till it comes back in stock along with every other human being um, on earth, then it's going to be out of stock if you don't order it within the first, like uh, it, things are just blowing up right now. If you want it, you need to just pay for it now and wait patiently to get it. It'll probably come sooner than you think. All right, so I can just do under here for a really natural, it's called tight lining. They should just call it poking yourself in the eye because that's what you're gonna do. 
And then once it dries, it's not going anywhere. Um, this is going to make, um, you could even skip mascara if, if it bothers you or you didn't want to wear it. You could totally skip mascara. All right, so we can do that. And then we can also just add a really nice line, but here's the trick to getting it to look like part of your lashes and not um, a Sharpie line. You have to, you have to, have to, have to start here, not here. This first little lash and where it's really easy to start is where most people take their liner. And then they stop about right here, forgetting that your face curves. Do you see how much I'm leaving on the table? There's like an eighth of an inch of eye there that I don't see from this mirror vantage point right here. Okay, so your line needs to go from the tear duct all the way past the last lash. It's not going to look like a wing unless you really draw it out. Um, we are creatures of habit and we tend to follow the path of least resistance. And it's just easier to go from here to here because you don't have to move, you don't have to think about it. You can just go, yep, it's on. But then as you're moving around and you're talking, you've, you've basically just shortened your eye. You're not giving your eye its full glory. Um, so that said, let's go ahead and put on some liner. It's not going to be in the form of a line. We're going to just smudge color around the eyes in a really neutral shade so that your color of your eyes really bounces and it's going to erase pink because the pink that naturally occurs in your waterline is just not the prettiest color. Um, so I am going to use number 37. What's that? Um, blush hour, I think. And it's going to look really disappointing when you put it on. So you're like, meh, it doesn't even look like anything's there. But that's kind of the point. We want to pick the color that our lids are, not this reddish pink, bluish tinted mess up there. Okay. Oh, thanks for sharing, guys. That means so much. I really appreciate that. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Liz. Amy, Savannah. We got a good crew tonight. 13 people. Okay. Who's going on vacation? Give me hearts. I know there's at least three of you watching right now that are going on vacation. Okay. So, almost undetectable. But there. And it's not the color that was there before, which is pretty much just the gold. We want to we want to give it a new color, one that's close to flesh colored. It's kind of like foundation. You don't necessarily want to match the color on your eyes, no, nope, any more than you want to match the color on your face. You want to give it the color that it should have been. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and this is crazy, but for beach, but it's, it's going to be amazing. And we're going to take under the eyes and it's, it's virtually in, indetectable, undetectable, indetectable. I don't know. Um, but do you see the difference? Okay. This eye is a little bit more focused and intense, where this one is just a little more rounded. Okay. You could skip this, of course, but I would love for you to try it. And because these are powders, not um, pencils that are going to melt, um, they absorb liquid. So as you're sweating and as you're swimming and doing whatever, um, they're just going to um, absorb and they're going to stay put. So you'll be surprised how much wear you can get out of it. I'm going to keep all of the rest of this just 
totally naked. Um, that way when you're looking up or you're taking pictures like this, all of the actual makeup is pretty much gone. Um, okay, so we're not going to mess with contour or any of that stuff. Now, we could go back in with our liner and give ourselves a line, um, but I'm not going to because it's hard and I don't like to do hard things. All right, and I want to show you all a couple of hair tricks, so I want to have time before my phone dies. Okay, so mascara. Tips first. You could wear false lashes for about two days at the beach if you don't put on a whole lot of other makeup or if you just keep layering on this makeup. Like if you just add this color every day a little bit more, you don't ever really have to take it off. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not going to clog pores. It's not going to have any ill effect whatsoever. Um, so if you wanted to put on false lashes, if you don't have like lash extensions, um, I highly recommend that glue that I use, that Japanese um, glue. Dog is dreaming. Michelle, you better get over here and impregnate this dog. Not Michelle. Mm. That was complicated and not live worthy. She's dreaming about having babies. Oh, tips first. Tips first. Thank you, Elizabeth Warren. Anyway, that um, lash adhesive was by Japanesque. And I have no idea where. I, that, I, that's a sample that I got somewhere, but I'm sure you could look it up. And it's super easy iridescent but it dries really nice and flat I've always used black adhesive because it dries black and therefore absorbs light instead of reflecting it because sometimes those clear glues if you get it beyond the lash line it dries with a little bit of a sheen to it and kind of ruins your um, liner or shadowing and then if you try to lay something on top of it it doesn't really stick so it can be kind of a mess and if you are going to do your bottom lashes, I kind of don't recommend it, but if you have to, use a little brush and just do these little outside guys. Just the tiniest little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take these out because I'm going to show y'all. A little trick. Oh, you know what else we did last summer? Was mix a tiny bit of this with our foundation. Only recommend that for some really tan girls or maybe like your fourth day at the beach. I don't recommend that for Whitey McWhiterson. Okay, let me get some lips on. I would definitely, definitely still wear lip liner at the beach. Because full lip color is not necessary. You can totally do it. And it would be amazing. Especially um, our cherry pie color with a big floppy black hat. Mm, that would be so pretty. Um, but if you're using a good nude liner... I would just go with a gloss or even just a chapstick and a really really thin dry layer I basically wipe it all off and use whatever little remnants are in there okay so I am going to use our setting spray Setting spray on the face. Let that dry. And then I'm also going to use it in my hair. And it is going to give you a little bit of texture. And 
kind of that beachy salty and also that little bit of shine do y'all see that am i getting any feedback on this do y'all think this is crazy i really like the simple look yes rachel this is very you baby um okay and then i was doing some research on 2017 hairstyles so the middle part with the kind of long bangs mine are a little too long but they should kind of stop right here um is super in right now with the little shag down to the shoulders i need a dimmer for what my face because it's so bright you gotta wear shades uh, the gloss that is grace gloss um, the other one that we have that's super nude is um, oh a dimmer for my light now I understand what you're saying um, peace peace and grace if I'm wrong I will correct that later so anyway this is a great beachy hair look so I'm just gonna pull this back and let some of this hang and you want to open your bobby pin up like this the only bobby pins that really in the whole world exist that crap you buy at Walgreens is no good um, these are from Sally Beauty Supply they're Mariana Supreme brown bobby pins not hair pins and they I think they only come in a one pound box they might have a smaller one um, but if you want some, I'll send, I've got a bazillion of them. So I'll send you some because you probably don't need near as many as I have. So you're going to open it up, put your finger in between it, pinch whatever part of hair that you want to stay put. It can't be too heavy. Um, so you can have to do small pieces. And then you want to go over that pinched hair. And both of those points of that bobby pin are now pressing into my scalp and it kind of hurts a little bit. And now I'm going to tilt this back and press it toward my face, keeping those points of the bobby pin on my scalp all the way forward. So if I've ever done your hair before, you remember that little bit of pain, my slight discomfort. Um... when I put the bobby pins in. That's what that's for because it's kind of scraping against the scalp. So we're opening, let's see if y'all can see that. Open, stretch it over whatever you've got pinched. Make sure both ends are touching the scalp. Press all the way forward and don't let that those ends come away from the scalp and go up. They should go straight in all the way on the scalp. And that's how you get your hair to hold all day with just two bobby pins. So, uh, Allie and Allie, you and her totally need to do makeup together. Oh, who's Allie? Who's Allie? Hi, Addie. What was this spray called for hair? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. By the way, Limelight, this is now um, hairspray. It's not intended for your hair. Um, and so if your hair falls out, I reserve the right to remind you that this is not intended for hair. Um, this is our setting spray, but it doesn't have any oil in it. Um, so it's going to just, it just gives you that little bit of, I mean, it's basically hairspray for your face. So why not use it in your hair? And I love this sort of, I mean, this is not the everyday look that I would do, but yeah, <laughs> Amanda remembers me stabbing those. Up. But I only had to do it like five times because you don't need a whole lot of bobby pins when you know how to do them well. It will take you some practice to get those pins um, to stick like that. But when you're doing the little poof up top, um, just turn that hair over, pinch it, and press it forward all the way in. Um, and you can get that done with one. And this completely hides the bobby pin. The only part of the bobby pin that is visible, let me see if I have another one laying around here somewhere, is just that very that very end so it's not a barrette it doesn't go in like this it goes this way and toward the face all right so what do y'all think yes who's going to the beach like this so this is the um 10 years younger setting spray and yeah my light is really tired and wants to go to sleep it wants to die uh, we've got glow, we've got a little bit of color, but we look totally natural. And best of all, you could keep this on all day, all night, wake up in the morning and just add a tiny bit more. Like 
literally there's no reason to even take it off. Just put another layer of One Drop Wonder on, another little slap of foundation. The um, We used the number six blush, which is our like illuminator. Um, and Mandy, did you? Yes, you have that one, Mandy. Um, we use number 37 um, on the eyes called Blush Hour because it's just basically a nude color. You can just add a little bit more of that. And even if you wanted to put on false lashes, you could probably get away. If you did them really well, you cut them in half, put them on in two sections, um, you could probably get away with wearing those for a couple of days. Um, the, just to go back over all of this for those of you joining in late. Hey, Chris. Um, the glue that I recommended is that Japanese glue. It's a, I used it for the first time the other night, but it was incredible. It's definitely leaps and bounds better than the Ardell, um, that I've been using. So I'll see if I can look that up and see where you buy it. Uh, all I have is a tiny little sample tube, but I'll definitely be finding some more. So there we go. Beachy hair, beachy face. Beachy face, beachy, beachy face. Okay, so let me make sure I didn't miss any questions. This was fun. My phone's about to die. And if you guys, I sent a couple of messages to a few of you asking for um, some help here at the end of the month to put my team over the top. And the link that I sent you doesn't work. Type into your browser www.limelightbyalcone.com slash Katie Lady. K A T Y L A D Y. If you're going to order tonight or tomorrow, um, that would be doing my dear friend um, a huge favor. She, her family is um, really struggling right now, and she's got a lot on her plate. And um, anyway, just want to show her the love. So do that. Hey, hey, hey. Um, still people popping on here. Y'all, you, you kind of missed the fun. So watch the replay and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for your support.